Hello YouTube and welcome to Mike's Reviews. Today we're going to review uh, some food. Um, I'm not going to be opening them, I'm just making people aware that these things do exist and that they're very good uh, for camping. So, we'll start from the left, chicken casserole, chili con carne, lamb hot pot and beef bolognese. My favourite out of all of these is the chili con carne. It's uh, as good as homemade, and I'm not just saying that, it really is. Um, chicken casserole mm, could could do with something more to bulk it out a little bit more. Uh, lamb hot pot's very nice, and there's some good chunks of potato and veg in there. And the bolognese is all small bits again, the same as uh, the chili con carne, as you would expect. So the good thing about these foods is there's no added preservatives everything is 100 natural ingredients as it says so there and slow cooked to perfection and they do taste like they're slow cooked too it's all nice and soft so let's have a look at the ingredients on here marinated chicken 30 percent 20 percent potato water carrot six percent swede six percent onion five percent green beans peas White wine, corn flour, salted butter, chicken stock, tomato puree, garlic sage, salt, rosemary, black pepper, um, potato starch, butter, and uh, chicken broth, and vegetable concentrates, carrot, onion, leek, and cornstarch. So there's nothing in there. So on the back of here, it does explain that you can heat it on the hob um, or in a microwave for two minutes. Um, when I go camping, all we do is we place the whole pouch into a mess tin and boil it for about eight minutes, and it's absolutely piping hot. Um, as these are pre-cooked meals, you can eat them hot or cold. So let's go and have a look at the uh, chili con carne. Then. This is my favorite. Oh yeah, also, you can see what's inside in the bottom. As you can see, there's, in the broth, there's a few peas in the bottom of there. So let's have a look at the chili con carne one. Okay, it just looks like tomatoes, but darker. And I can see a kidney bean in there. I can tell you there's more than one, that's for sure. So chili con carne, this isn't your baking hot chili con carne, but it's hot enough, it's warm. Um, if you want extra spice, I suggest you take an extra chili with you. As you can see, minced beef, 23%, tomatoes, 19%, so it's a good chunk of that is tomatoes, beef, and uh, kidney beans, with 16% kidney beans. And as you can see, there's no rubbish in there. It's very good. Again, it's a two minute boil, um, two minutes, sorry, in the microwave or on the hob. Um, I And the dates, I've bought these today, and it's, a, it's now uh, August the 19th, uh, 19. So there is uh, you know, nearly a year of date on these. And then we've got the lamb hot pot. There is some. There's there's chunks in here. There's big chunks. Whereas these ones, I can push the packet where it's more liquidy. This one has got big chunks in, and that's big chunks of potato. So it's a lamb hot pot. That's what you expect to get, and that's what you do get when you open it. And it literally does fill one of these bowls up, as you'd expect. Look what we found. I bought these in um, Waitrose. Morrison's used to stock them and you used to be able to grab them for a pound before on special offer. And now they don't stock them anymore, so it's Waitrose only. And they're a little bit more expensive at 165 Except for the lamb hot pot, which is 2 99 So potato, 29%. Lamb, 25%. Carrot, 13%. Blah, 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 blah. As you can see, there's no rubbish again in here. It's just all your usual natural cooking stuff. And let's get to the beef bolognese. Beef bolognese, it's uh, smaller pieces again. Let's try and have a look in the bottom. Just see, it's just bolognese. And inside here, tomatoes, mint 27%, minced beef 26%, onion, water, mushrooms, carrot, tomato puree, Red wine, olive oil, corn flour, beef stock, sugar, salt, salt, uh, black pepper, basil, oregano, bay leaf. 
and it's the same ball in the bag technique we use for all of these okay so most people say for camping these are a little bit heavy because they're wet and people like dry foods well i don't really like the taste of dry food and i and i in situations where i don't need to uh worry about the weight these are perfect um my my go-to's are definitely the chili con carne i will carry twice as many of those than anything else than the beef bolognese um i buy the packed rice um to boil with these um or with beef bolognese i always just put a bit of pasta in the bottom mess tin then put some water in there and put this on the top and cook me pasta what is underneath you'll find that your food cooks lovely you can actually when you open the top of the pouches they undo from edge to edge at the very top and you've got a little cutting piece just there if you can see um which so you don't need a tool to undo it you just rip the packet and you can actually pour your, your rice inside there's enough room and just spoon it straight out of the packaging these i paid 135 um for the chicken casserole chicken on carne and the beef bolognese 135 each apart from the lamb hot pot which was two pounds something the lamb one's always more expensive for some reason i think it's just because of the meat um the i totally recommend them so people do moan about the the weight of the packaging and for the amount of calories that you get in these uh typically they this one's 243 calories that's just this one so as soon as you add what's the other ones then Yes, 170. Like I said, it did need bulking out the chicken casserole, but it's ideal as a snack, especially on those colder days. 215 calories. So again, a bit of a heavier snack. Definitely could do with more potatoes if you want. Uh, if you had some, or just you know, a bag of rice or something, just to bulk out those calories a little bit, get some carbs in you. 255 calories on on there so once you add your pasta to that you've, you've got yourself you know nearly a 500 calorie meal um, and with this one with being 243 you will have a 500 calorie meal uh, once you put your rice with it because the rice is a few hundred calories as well that being said so the weight people say about the weight of these um, 250 grams a packet estimated weight they don't feel any different to each other um so yeah four meals which is what i would eat in a day is a kilo so it is a lot for your camping equipment but if you haven't got to carry it on your own back or it's you know on something you know like i do paddle boarding so we all this goes in bags on the top of the paddle board and you know it doesn't make a blind bit of difference to me um, but this is what we use and this is how we survive with good food in our bellies on long multi-day runs in in the middle of nowhere thank you very much uh, please subscribe to our channel i'll show you how to cook them sooner or later enjoy